<laughs> Hi everyone, this is the uh, year reading for uh, well the, the people who chose the Queen of Cups card and uh, I'm stuck with my chair and anyhow uh, I have a lot of cards so I'm gonna go right into it so that I make it in one video um, we're gonna start with the theme your theme for the year 2019 I'm going to put these cards up there, the ones that we have for you. We have the World card, and we have Mountain Strings. And um, I feel with that, um, with the um, World, uh, the World card, um, a huge shift, a new, a new cycle that is beginning. And uh, uh, that means that you are going out more in the world, out in, into the world, uh, after you have lived in on the inside, so to speak, or literally, that can be literally uh, and figuratively, and possibly both. both. Uh, so kind of like um, living, having lived like a hermit, and in a way, what it comes down to is that you have lived a limited version of yourself for what I feel quite some time, uh, hiding under a, a blanket of fear and excuses to keep yourself in that situation. And uh, now you're going to believe, or you already do that, you believe more in yourself and you also feel more passion and joy to go out into the world and to enjoy everything there is and everything that you have learned and been through as well you know it's a shift and um it really is as if you have lived in a mist for quite some time but it's something that you chose to do yourself and now you're coming out of your comfort zone naked perfect the way you are joyful and full of trust and with that mountain, that was really odd because um, when I felt this thing with the mist that I was just talking about in, in, in living in a mist, I hadn't really looked at this card yet. And look at that mountain, there's mist here at the bottom. And so, yeah, yeah it's quite amazing. And uh, this coming out, going out more, you can see that in the mountain as well. It's not as if you just only just step out of that mist here, because it's disappearing, right? Uh, but it's also as if you have, um, well, not as if, you have done that. You have uh, barged through an, an, an awful lot of obstacles and walls. Um, yeah, you just knocked them down. And that's these yellowish rocks. It makes me feel that this is just really you, the real you. And that these yellow rocks, it's its basically supposed to be a mountain, I suppose. But as if these rocks were covering you. And you did that yourself to protect yourself for whatever reason. But now it's as if that, that, um, that mountain, the real you underneath, kind of... Uh, gave itself a really good shake <laughs> so that these these yellow rocks came tumbling down to reveal the inner core the real mountain not hidden anymore and now it's standing standing there and shining it's in in all its beauty and that is you it, that that is like you it's it's very similar to this to the uh, to the world card and it maybe can sometimes feel a little bit um scary to be this naked and vulnerable with that without the walls and the mists the mist there um but you have to then remember if that happens uh, and you feel that way that you are deeply grounded just like that mountain right mountains go deep into the ground you you really are standing strong you know like a rock it's just that you yourself have to believe in that and keep believing in that. Also, when things are not going so smoothly, maybe every now and then. So, actually love this, really love this. This is your theme for the year, right? For the for 2019. 
And then we're going to look at what works against the theme. <clears throat> and we have three cards. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, well, I'll show you the third card as well. I think that will fit. But I'm going to do the tarot cards first. Um, now, that was really odd because there's very positive cards, right? The Four of Wands, the Ace of Wands. And so I was thinking, how can that work <laughs> uh, against you? Well, what it means is that you do not, have, you mustn't be so eager to belong that you make rash decisions. You have to take your time, enjoy, have fun, but also allow things to ripen. And don't see them as ripe just because you feel so incredibly inspired and passionate. It's like the sunflower with the wand, the ace of wands. They cannot be ripened, the seeds in the, in the sunflower, they cannot be ripened just by you being enthused. It, you know, it, it's going to take time. No matter how passionate and inspired you feel, it will take time. And you have a lot of passion and can be very inspired. And with that, it's, you easily set other people alight too. But such fires can also, also die down really fast again. And that's also how you got hurt in the past. So you have to really learn to allow things to gestate and to take form. And that does not mean that you dim your light and your passion and enthusiasm, etc. It means you shine in the moment. Enjoy the moment, each moment. Let your passion and fire work for you, not against you. And this is really important. I feel that, okay? Uh, yeah, I hate to say that every time. But <laughs> I get goosebumps all over when something is really, really spot on and really, really important for people to hear. And I got that now as well. <clears throat> really, had to, head to toe, right? So, um, each time you find yourself wanting to forge ahead, you have to slow down and get into the now. Enjoy the journey. And allow the result to come to you rather than barging towards it yourself. And then with this card the uh, from the Dark Goddess Angels is Endurance. Uh, if I remember correctly, it is pronounced Kaliak. Uh, this says that you have endured a lot. You have suffered a lot. And it is now time uh, to let go of that. Of, of the routine because it may have become just that to basically get used to suffering and struggling and plodding and all that stuff uh, if that goes on for a, a long time it, it becomes almost like a habit um, it is now a time now to take um, from your hardships what serves you and dump the rest and begin to seek more joy and stop anticipating trouble. Because that's basically it when it becomes a routine that you start, uh, that can happen, that you can start to anticipate it. And by doing that, you often attract it then as well. Um, use your ability to endure in a positive way, to persevere with what feels good. And with where you want to go in life. Because then it, it might be really good if you can endure, persevere, right? And uh, so turn it into an asset. Um, for that's what it is. But you have to use it the right way. Um, righty. Then we're going to look at what helps the theme. So this is what works against it. So this is all the stuff you do, mustn't do. And then we're going to look at what um helps we have the lovers and we have the four of pentacles there's also uh, at first sight nice and confusing like how can this help <laughs> 
Anyhow, um, what helps the same? In order um, to maintain and work on inner balance, it is important to regularly take a time out to recharge your battery. And you have to do that in order to A, feel good, and B, to be able to make healthy decisions and choices for yourself. Meaning not holding on to things, but also not giving too much or, or so much that you deplete yourself. It's basically to also prevent and stop you from um, rushing into stuff. Right? So uh, taking these breaks uh, regularly. It's also a healthy balance in being open and vulnerable. Um, you make sure that you have boundaries in place and standards so that you don't get taken advantage of or deplete your own resources. So there's a lot of inner balance and really taking that time to um, recharge and think about the things, about the decisions you have to do. And yeah, so this is what helps the theme when you go out there again in the big wide, wide world, so to speak. Um, now we're going to look at what, um, what you have to leave behind in 2018, in this year. And I always do that with the um, Lenormand cards, the Gilded Reverie. Um, it's all the hiding and holding back from the theme, right? The mists and the walls and the obstacles that you hid behind, etc. Uh, you have to leave that behind. And I keep hearing, stop making excuses, stop making excuses, stop making excuses. So you likely um, did that a lot, maybe got into a habit of doing that even, you know, make come up with all kinds of excuses as to why you couldn't do something or as to why you couldn't be or have something, right? Like, I haven't got the time, I'm so busy, I haven't got the money, uh, I haven't a car or whatever, you know, just that kind of stuff, just basically excuses to, to just not do something. Um... Yeah, so in, in that sense, it's also the confirmation that you have been living in that mist and in hiding uh, with that. Funny enough, we have another mountain there, <laughs> uh, uh, like we did with the theme. Yeah, um, then we're going to look, if you do that, what you will then get. So then we're going to look at these two, the bear, a polar bear in uh, in this uh, Lenormand deck and the woman. Um, what you get if you indeed leave that behind, the hiding and stuff, right? If you stop doing that and you go out in the world, etc., etc., then it really is an emerging here, stepping into your feminine strength and energy. Even if you're a man watching this, it doesn't matter. Because men also have feminine energy and they need that as well, right? Um... So it doesn't matter uh, if you're a man or a woman listening to this. It is emerging. You you will have that and step into your feminine strength energy, meaning you will be able to be open and soft and vulnerable, but you will be strong regardless because this is a bear, a polar bear. And the bear is strong. Bear in Lenormand is also mother. So again, the feminine energy, nurturing, loving, caring, feminine, right? Also protecting, right? Like, like uh, especially, well, humans do that as well. But in the animals, you can see that stronger. If someone is, is trying to um, take um, an animal's um, offspring, well... <laughs> That's usually not going to go down too well, right? Especially not with some an animal as huge and strong as a polar bear. <laughs> uh, and yeah. Uh, anyhow, uh, stepping into this energy the, in your f the feminine strength, etc. will help you to manifest and to do what you like to do. And it will also help you to stay in the now. Uh, which I said earlier is what you will have to do because that will help you. Uh, be in a now and not rush ahead and um, and feminine energy is in the now right it is in the now it's not 
planning in the future, etc., etc. There's more the masculine energy. Feminine energy is in the now, going with the flow in the now. <clears throat> yeah, and um, going in the flow is actually also kind of your learning point. Because let's see, I'll look at that in with the um, we'll look at that with the uh, what is important for you to learn in 2019, and that is standing tall and strong and empowered right in the face of change, adversity, and storms. And in spite of all that, all that chaos and everything going there going on, standing strong trusting that all will, will be well and knowing that you got you that you're okay and that you're going to be okay and in a way that is going with the flow kind of right um anyway that's how i see that <laughs> being able to just do this you know just imagine if you could do that if there is a storm meaning chaos or trouble drama whatever going on around you to be able to stand like this still to still be poised and empowered and shining not touched really by uh, by it that's beautiful. Now your blind spot concerning um, that learning point, right? Because this was your learning point for the new year to be able to do that. Now your blind spot concerning that uh, deep knowing. I'm not certain if you can see the uh, the text on the cards because I can't see the, the bottom half of the screen because of the holder that it's in. Anyhow, um, your blind spot is not heeding your inner knowing and the signs that you get. Um, when you lose touch with your inner guidance and with swords, you will also lose your poise. Then you will start to wobble on that pedestal. You start to wobble. You will lose it. Um yeah, no no one in his time to, to take a time out, a break, and to turn inwards to seek answers and guidance. And I came up earlier on as well, right, with the uh, four of pentacles, what could help the theme to maintain your inner balance. Uh and what could help the scene, these two cards. You will have to regularly take breaks and time out to, you know, for your own well-being. But also to make the right decisions, healthy decisions. So you don't rush into stuff and, yeah, lose your poise. So uh, that is your blind spot. That's what you have to really pay attention to, the, the intuition. That you stay connected to your intuition and your inner guidance. And again, that's also... Uh, feminine energy, right? Like we had with the uh, the bear just now and the woman card from the Lenormand. This is also feminine energy, intuition. So that is very important. And you have to really, well, it's your blind spot, so try to remember it. Um, now we're going to look at your love and the relationship. Um, let's see, I have... Uh, three, uh, three cards. Uh, hey, I've lost one. Hang about. I'll have to find it. <laughs> right, I found it. Well, I did, did have that one, but I didn't have that one. <laughs> There's more cards, all right, but we're going to start with these. Um, love and relationship in 2019. Well, the opportunity, the opportunities will certainly be there. A very good opportunity, even by the looks of things, right? The opportunity to find true love. But there is a but with that. You will have to make the efforts um, so that it can come, and so you can allow it in. And that is confirmed with the other three cards that I have for you: the um, new beginning. 
a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. And also, you may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. And we have the... Oops, I'm trying to get it to stand up. The past is behind you now. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith so it is important that you um just accept that you do not need to know everything that you don't need to with that also you don't need to control everything you have to just trust and be in your heart space again the intuition that we uh that came up earlier as well your intuition just trust in your feminine energy in your heart embrace the new and the opportunities and the excitement of the new and let get let go of the old so that a new stuff can come in and that is basically what is meant by make the effort right that's not like efforting to go on dating sites and to chase other uh, after uh, men or women or whatever is the effort is actually more you um being open and being available being ready of course you have to make yourself available so the other can find you somewhere somehow but the effort is not really like chasing after someone in in, in a way right it's more you doing the inner work you having your heart open and also you have two more cards also being playful right being playful trusting having fun and finding joy and enjoying the excitement of the new like this this little fairy she's just enjoying it so much all the wonders of the world right she doesn't have to understand everything and and she doesn't need to know everything she just is <laughs> and <clears throat> then you can have the treasure island so it is possible the opportunity will still uh, will absolutely be there will arise and it's not uh, cosmos doesn't work that way that it's just a, a once in a lifetime opportunity right it doesn't work that way so it's not like well if you miss out on it then it's that that's it right <laughs> it doesn't work out like that um it doesn't work like that but this is looking good this is really seriously looking good and if you are in a relationship well the same thing goes in that sense or if you're seeing someone already right you have to make the effort you know remain open and loving and uh, yeah let go a bit more maybe because we had uh, this thing with the uh, lovers oracle card that you don't need to uh, know and understand everything just yeah so yeah so this is very positive. I like it. Um, now we're going to look at your work and money for the year 2019. And then we have the happy, happy card. We have the clock from the uh, expanded or is it extended? Well, whatever. Uh, Reverie, uh, uh, Lenormand cards and the mice. Um work and money this is money by the way sorry i didn't say that this is money i split that up so this is money don't get so caught up in all kinds of things that you lose track of what the heck you were doing because then there is a chance of losing money bit by bit with the mice there and by the time you notice that because they nibble away the tiny little bits at a time but by the time you will notice it, you might have lost quite a lot, right? Um, I also feel this has to do with losing out on future prospects. If you get too involved and lost in too many things. Um, it's a warning in a way to not deplete your resources. Again, also with that. with the uh, Because the mice are eating away the resources in the kitchen, in the pantry. Um, do not add too much clutter to what you're doing. Keep it focused and clean and then this door um, will open. Again, I get the stay in the now. 
that came up earlier a couple of times as well that you have to be in the now in the present feminine energy blah blah all that stuff um and then you will get to the happy happy but you must really be careful and that felt real strong uh to not do too much don't take on too many projects or so if you're doing one project like making a clock then don't add all that shit to it right because then you will not see the, the the forest for the trees anymore and then you will lose track and then it's gonna go wrong then you might end up here losing money and resources etc that's not what you want if you manage to do that stay focused keep it clean one thing at a time um, then you can get there then you can get to the happy happy um, then we're gonna look at work um, get these out of the way then we have the never-ending story and the heart and uh, I so love that card <laughs> and the tree um, never-ending story is basically uh, about uh, you have to stop telling the old story that stems from fear and doubt um, this is work right there's no reason why you can't be successful. Stop comparing yourself with others. And above all, stop coming up with all kinds of excuses as to why you can't or shouldn't do something. That came up earlier as well, right? Having excuses, making excuses like I haven't got money, I haven't got time, I haven't got this, I haven't got that. Um, you got to stop that. So that comes up again. And now in the work arena. <clears throat> Get clear what it is that you want to do and what makes your heart jump for joy. And then give it solid footing, like with the tree. There's no need to rush. I feel a message here to take your time to plan and to not do things on a whim. Again, right? Again, that came up earlier as well. Um, have a strategy that works for you. Um, that's important because that way you won't get lost or overwhelmed and then every success will help you build your confidence and, and it will then inspire you to keep going and um, that all ties in with the money cards that we just did uh, the message that you mustn't do too much in one go really have a strategy, a plan, a, a structure, a little bit of a structure, but make sure, and this is important, this is really very important, basically that goes straight back to this intuition card that we had earlier on. Um, you have to make sure that the structure, the planning, the, the plan, the strategy, etc. That that comes from the heart and from desire. And not from the mind or from fear or greed or a need to pay the bills. Well, but I have to do that, so I must stick to this plan. And then because I have to pay the bills, if I don't, you know, that's not going to work. That is not going to work. You have to trust. You have to is that you have to believe in it it has to come from the heart and then it will work otherwise it's going to work against you the uh, the, the planning and the strategy etc um you have to make sure that you keep doing uh what you love yeah your heart has got to be in it and then it will grow and then it will flourish like that tree uh, it, it it has to be something that suits you and that's because of the heart but also because of that tree because I, that tree I always feel like that is a bit like home feeling, feeling at home feeling at ease feeling nurtured feeling sheltered as well right here under that tree it's uh, yeah it's gonna keep you dry and it's just a beautiful place. You can rest again to, against the tree trunk, etc., etc. It's just like nice. I, I always like it. Um, don't shy away from making um, connections with others, and that is both the heart card, the connections. Right? There's also these two swans, but also the birds in that tree. 
little birds in there and there's, there's just um, one type of tree of of, uh, of tree one type of bird I don't know what they're supposed to be but it is all the same type the same kind of birds and that means that it is important for you to surround yourself with like-minded people birds of a feather right um, yeah so that's um, concerning the work thingy Especially start telling this different story, a positive story, a new story, not from fear, greed, whatever, you know, all the stuff that I just uh, basically said. What part of your soul purpose is important in 2019? So this is not your soul purpose per se, what part of it is important in 2019? Well, then we have the creative expression. Uh, your soul longs to express itself creatively. Well, I don't think that needs any further explanation. It can be in any way, right? It just uh, it doesn't have to be painting. It can be any way. It can also be in work. Um, basically, I do feel it does go back to uh, like with the work as well, doing what you like, what you love, what makes you happy, what makes you feel good. Oh, sorry about that bumped into the uh, phone's cover right so yeah well I, I don't think that needs any further explanation just being creative again I have to, to sh I have to <laughs> again this if you're creative you are um, well tapped in tuned in turned on as Abraham Hicks always says you're in, uh, connected to source, your higher self, your inner guidance, your inner being, your intuition. Otherwise, you cannot create. So again, uh, he, this this uh, thingy that it is very important to be tuned in, tapped into your intuition, your guidance, etc. That's really important. For you this year, um, where are you on your path? Basically, um, well, right now, that's that's kind of what I ask. Where am I now on my path? So, uh, since it's for the 2019, I'm going to take that for the beginning of 2019. I love this so much. <laughs> One of my favorite cards from this deck, what it says is... You are on a journey to your own greatness. Your soul is longing to find a way. Only you can choose the path. So that's beautiful, isn't it? And doesn't it go well with the... Um, oh, again, doing it again. I'm so sorry. Uh, with the world card. Going out there, being vulnerable. And just, yeah. The, the entire reading. It just goes really well with the entire reading. Um... Then we have advice for 2019. That is the last bit of your reading. Let's see, we have cups four, wands six, to two of wands. Oh, stay up there, please. And we have sacred space. I'll hang about. Let's see the tarot cards first. Ready. Um, same thing that already came up with the work cards. Stop focusing on the old story. Don't just see the old. And that came up with the uh, with the never ending story, right? Um, don't just see the old. That there's that card. Uh, also, don't look at what you have achieved. Um, just you know, just like that. But be thrilled about it, about what you have achieved. <clears throat> Celebrate your victories, even if it wasn't or isn't the full manifestation just yet. It doesn't matter. The stepping stones are what will get you there in the end. So basically, it's a shift in perspective of what you have and what you have done so far. It's not like uh, looking at it like that, but actually rejoicing about what you have and, and what you have achieved so far. Even if it isn't, well, like I said, not what you had planned to achieve just yet. It doesn't matter. It is an achievement. It is a success. You have to see it like that. 
Um, so that is a shift in perspective, look to, looking at it differently. Start telling a new positive story. Then the new will also come in much easier. Um, it is already there, the new. But you have to see it and allow it in, right? Because look at that, that cup there. It's already there. We're talking Abraham X again here, law of attraction. It's already there. But if you don't see it, it can't come in. You can't receive it. Um, yeah. Uh, this, is, this is basically that, right? As soon, if, if you ask for something uh, with the law of attraction, if you ask for something, then it is energetically already there. Uh, so it is given right away. Uh, the energetic version, it, it, what it takes for you to also get it in the physical is to get up to speed with what you want so that it be can become manifest, tangible. Um, turn towards the future, to what you want to achieve and start planning. So away from the uh, looking at the old stuff and, and, and all that stuff, because you're going to start a new story, telling a new story, turning towards the future. And like I said earlier as well, with that was with work, wasn't it? Uh, it's important that you have a plan or structure, at least a little bit of structure. And that's what this is about too. Um, <clears throat> so... Um, turning to the future, to what it is you want to achieve, and start planning, structure again, right? And, and not rushing ahead. Take steps, then check in with yourself. Again, that break, taking a bit of a break, so you do not rush ahead. And um, return to the drawing board, if it need be, to fine-tune. And stick with it. See the progress, enjoy the journey. And, and that all goes back again to the theme and uh, the cards that uh, of what worked against it and uh, what helped it. So you can go back if you can't remember. Right? And this is about seeing the successes, the victories and all that stuff. And also just, just compliment yourself. Even if other people aren't doing that. If other people aren't seeing your successes, because they, they expect to see, uh, they only see it when, for instance, you, you've made half a mil or something. If you have achieved something and, and uh, a milestone for you, compliment yourself. That's very important. And then we have the sacred space card. Um, yeah, similar message. Take time for the dreamer in you. Find your power in stillness. In, the, in your sacred space is the peace you seek. So, um, again, a bit of a same, a same message, a similar thingy. Like, take the time to go within, to plan, also to feel, and to stay in touch with your heart and your dreams and with the structure. And again, that structure should be based on the heart, on uh, inspiration, and not on logic and ratio and whatever, all that stuff, right? So, um, I believe I have one more. Hang about. One last card. I had to find it. Um, <clears throat> is what is healing for you in 2019. Um, this is from my new card deck, The Crystal Angels by Doreen Virtue. Uh, Opal. So, possibly opals in themselves can be healing to you. Uh, but the message is let yourself hang about. I want to read it uh, without straining my neck. Um, <clears throat> the message, let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. Well, isn't that beautiful? Because that's also... Uh, where is it? Where is it? I'm trying to find it. <laughs> Gosh, no, I can't find it so quickly. Anyhow, like the, the world card, it basically sort of ties into that, right? Because that's also you uh, 
showing yourself to the world, coming out of your shell, etc. Right, I hope you enjoyed your reading for 2019. This was it. Um, um, thank you for watching. I would appreciate your comments in the feedback uh, if it resonates with you. Of course, you you won't know a lot of things yet because, right. Well, I have to ask you a year from now. <laughs> but yeah, oftentimes you can still tell whether it resonates or it's like, nah, that's not me at all. Right? I would really like to know that. So thank you for watching. And um, yeah, well, I'll be back again. Maybe still this month. I'm not sure, depending on my neck. Alrighty, bye.